your brides are not booking you because you're too expensive or you're too cheap. Okay, we're going to talk about that in today's show. Well, hello and good morning, everyone. Welcome to Bridal Business TV. I am your host, Dawn Rose, and I help hair stylists and makeup artists book more brides. So today I wanna to talk about why it's not your price that is stopping people from booking you, stopping brides from booking you. And I wanna kind of take a little bit of a different look at this today. So thank you those for you joining me. Let me know that you can see and hear me okay, because that makes me realize <laughs> then that everything is good. Um, I'm hoping that I can get up my comments in just a second. Um, so good morning and welcome. So I want to talk today about a little bit about pricing, but it's actually, it's not about pricing as in how much you charge. I want to talk about perceived value. Um, so that's what we're going to kind of be chatting about today. For those of you who are on with me live, just please let me know that you're here. Say hi. Um, I can see that there are people that have joined, but I can't see comments this morning, which is just, you know how it goes. Sometimes I can see the comments, sometimes I can't, in which case I might have to log on to my actual phone so that I can see comments at the same time. And then we will get cracking on today's episode. Okay, there is a comment there, so why can't I see it? Look oh. open. Hey, Victoria, good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, so Victoria is saying hi. So obviously you can um, see and hear me. Um, oh, here we go. Look, my little comment box just came up. So, hey, good morning. All right, we're in business this morning. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the th thumbs up. Thanks for the hearts. All right, so I'm going to turn off. Hopefully, I can just turn off my phone for a minute because I've got my notes right here. All right. Now, there are a couple of reasons that I'm going to try and get into two reasons today, if we, if we get a chance to, to talk about why it's not your price. And when I did, um, if anyone joined me on the business and branding boot camp, one of those days I talk about price and I talk about value being perception, okay? So I, I always say that what something is worth to you may not be worth the same to somebody else, yeah? So I talk about kind of value, you know how they say um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, yeah? I think it's the same with value. I think value is in the, the eye of the beholder too, because like I said, how we perceive um, something to be worth our money, it may not be the same to anyone else. So. I kind of want to put a little bit of perception on perspective, if that makes sense. So we probably all at some times in the past, we've looked at something that somebody has bought and we've gone, oh my God, she just paid $300 for that pair of runners. Yeah, sneakers, trainers. I just spoke three languages and it's all English. Isn't that ridiculous? But you guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> so anyone looked and gone, why do they pay $300 for that pair of runners? That's ridiculous. I'd never pay $300. Can anyone remember? I'm going to show my age here, but back in the, the 90s, those Air Jordans came out, right? The Air Jordan and the pumps, so you could pump up the trainers and everyone went nuts and they would have, they just were throwing money at these um, sneakers, yeah? At these Air Jordan sneakers back in, but it was, it, I think it was probably in, in the 90s sometimes. But again, and, and I, for me personally, I looked at this and went, Oh my God, they're paying like hundreds of pounds. I was in England at the time. I pay hundreds of pounds for these trainers. I'd never pay that, okay? So my perception, my value, um, my, my perceived value of that item was completely different to somebody else. It was like, oh my God, look what they do. They pump up. They're like the best sneaker. They come up my ankle. Oh, they're just, you know, everyone thought, there was people that thought they were absolute the bee's knees, right? And they would have spent any money because the value to them was 
I, I'm happy to spend this kind of money. Is everyone with me? Are you guys getting what I'm saying here? So let's think about this as well then in terms of um, even iPhones. So I, the, new, the new and the latest iPhone comes out and you know it's got all these like features that are different from before. In fact, some of them aren't even different. They've just put a different you know spin on some of these features. And yet, what are people doing? They are queuing up. They're camping out outside of Apple to get the newest and the latest gadgets, okay? So again, because they perceive that item to be what it is. And if we look at that in terms of, let's say, beauty influencers. So this is a good one, okay? So beauty influencers, let's talk about the beauty influencers that are on YouTube, okay? So the reasons why some of us will buy products is because it's been recommended, yeah? And we think, and, and, and to us at the time, it wasn't the price. We didn't think to ourselves, well, I can't buy that because it's too expensive or I can't buy that, it was too cheap. It was because somebody told us it did something better than or to the same uh, effect as something else. Right, so whether that was a high end product or a low end product, a beauty influencer. I love the I love the ones where the beauty influencers do um, the hauls and the comparisons, right? Because what they do then is they kind of prove sometimes that um, something is expensive doesn't mean that it's any better. So why is it that brides, or, or why is it that we feel like brides always book the cheapest? Well, there's a few reasons why, and I want to do a bit of a comparison here so that you understand why a bride is maybe booking you or not booking you, and you're feeling like, well, I don't know, I don't understand because, you know, I'm so much better than what they are, and yet because they are, you know, $100 cheaper than me, she's gone with the cheapest price. She hasn't gone with the cheapest price. What she's gone is, is what she perceived the value of your services compared to somebody else's was. Does that make sense? So she's gone and she said, um, we're going to do a little experiment here. So we're going to need you guys help. But she's gone and she's looked at it and she said, I perceive the value of that more than what I perceive the value of this hair and makeup, which is, you know, twice as expensive. So let me put this, I'm going to do a little experiment so you guys understand what I'm saying here when it comes to the fact that it's not your prices. Are you ready? Let me know that you're ready. Give me some yeses, give me some thumbs up, um, give me some hearts or something, guys. All right, so let's do a comparison between our... I'm just going on to my thing to make sure I can see comments. I can, cool. So let's go into a comparison. Let's talk about this. Let's say that a bride, and I want you to think about this from a bride's point of view. Thank you, Victoria. I think we're on a bit of a delay this morning. Um, so I appreciate that. Thank you, doll. Um, so here's what I want to say. Let's, let's look at this from the perspective of a bride. Now, I don't want you guys to come at this as I'm an experienced artist and I know what I'm doing and what I'm saying. I want you to forget everything that you've ever known about hair and makeup. And I want you to come up come approach this as you are a bride, okay? You are a bride who knows that she needs hair and makeup for a wedding, doesn't know too much about hair and makeup though, but just knows that, you know, she wants to look really nice on wedding day. And she comes across two websites, okay? The first website says hair and makeup, $100. And the second website, which... It's the same as the first website. It looks exactly the same. It says hair and makeup, $250. If she looks at then the images and she looks at them and they're like, well, well, both of them do a great job. Both of them look like they can do what I want. They, they both do hair and both do makeup. But one is $100 and the other one is $250. Who's she gonna go with? Who's she gonna go with? Who's she gonna choose? If, if, if what she's looking at is identical, right? They both have, they both have, um, they, they both do hair and makeup. Um, 
but one is charging an extra, you know, $150 over the other, and she looks at it and she can't see a difference, who's she going to book? She's going to book the $100, right? Because to her, there's not much difference. She's looking and she's going, well, they've got good uh, photos of hair and makeup and they've got good photos of hair and makeup, but this person's $150 cheaper. So to her, she's like, well, okay, there's my $100. I think I'll go with this person. So then let's say that the the $250 person said, well, we, it, we also include travel in our booking. Is that going to sway her? Is that worth an extra $150? Maybe not, yeah? Maybe not. She's still thinking, well, you know, it's travel, you know, but I don't live that far away. And, you know, they say that travel's only, you know, to me, I don't, I don't live too far, so she's not going to have to spend hundreds and you know on travel. So it includes travel. It's good, but it's not enough, right? It's still not enough to make her go. Well, it's completely different to this one. There's, there's more value in this one than there is in that one. So now let's say she turned around. And she said, okay, well, not only do I include travel with my two hundred and fifty dollar price tag, all my products are vegan. And this bride is thinking, well, that's you know, not only is that um, you know good health wise, it's good for the environment, but again. Is it worth an extra $150? Maybe not. But she may have thought, okay, you know, maybe. I'm still thinking about this. And now let's say on the website it said, okay, so my $100, my $100 price is $100, hair and makeup. You've seen my gallery. This one's saying $250. That's my price. You've seen my gallery. I have vegan makeup and I'll travel to you. And I'm an experienced makeup artist. Are you guys getting what I'm saying here? Okay. So perception again, she's looking at it and she's going, okay, well, yeah, this is kind of, this person's been doing this for a while. So she's going to know what she's doing. Again, she's thinking it's, you know, the, the scales are tipping, yeah, in the favor, but still, is it worth $150? Okay. So it, okay, they travel to me. They're going to come to me. They've got vegan, vegan makeup. That's important to me. It's an experienced artist, fantastic, I know what she's doing, but still, the outcomes, right, the outcomes are still the same. Is it enough to push her over the edge and say, all right, well, yeah, I'm happy to pay that 150 Possibly not still. So what if the 250 person now said, okay, uh, $250, um, that's my price, you've seen my, you've seen my hair and makeup, I travel, I have vegan-friendly uh, products, I'm an experienced artist. And then all over social media, she's really active on social media. She's providing images and then there's tutorials. You know, you've, you've watched a few of her videos and you're thinking, wow, she's like, she really, really knows her stuff. What's happening? Perception again, that value, that perception of that value is starting to raise again. What are you thinking now? Are you thinking as the bride? Still, I'm still not sure. I'm still not sure, but, you know, maybe, maybe um, you're starting to think about it, right? That scale is tipping. Now, I haven't really included anything that is of too much monetary value there, but what I have done is I've kind of enhanced perception again. So now let's add on that she is, so she travels to you. So the $250 bride, $250 price tag um, includes travel, vegan friendly, so good for the environment, good for the person, experienced makeup artist who has got an amazing social media presence and she really knows what she's doing. And um, she has got a dozen reviews of brides that are just absolutely cannot tell you anything more about it. They're always saying that she's with us every step of the day. She's happy to answer questions. Um, she knew what I wanted before I, I even knew what I wanted. And so now, so now you've not only got the $100 hair and makeup price that is, that's my price and that's my gallery. But now you've got, that's my price. That's my gallery. I travel to you. My products are good for the environment and good for you. I have vegan friendly. I'm extremely experienced. 
Um, my social media is popping, right? I've got social media, I've got staff people are commenting, they love my stuff, I share my tutorials, I share my experience all the time. Um, I've got a dozen glowing reviews that now telling everyone how amazing I am as a hair and makeup artist, that I am always in touch with my brides and I look after them really, really well. And so again, the perception of that $250 value is getting higher and higher and higher. So then let's say as well, let's just add on one other thing. Let's say that also it comes with a little mini touch-up kit. So I do all of those things. I am the most experienced person you can come across. I've got so many reviews. My my website is amazing. My social media is amazing. Um, and I'm also going to include a little mini, mini lipstick, a mini hairspray, and a mini translucent powder for you on your wedding day. Who have I just sold? Who have just said to me, take my money, I'll, I'll take the $250 pair of makeup? Because the value of what, of, of what I have given you, the value that you have now shown brides is worth the money, has actually made the bride think, ha, huh, that is why she charges more than what she does. So you have to think about the fact that when brides are coming and they are looking for their hair and makeup artist, they're not, they're not booking because that person's, well, okay, they are booking because that person's the cheapest, but they're only booking, that's why we think though that people are booking it because the cheapest, it's not. It's because the person who had the higher price has not shown their value to brides okay so if you are worried that the reason why people aren't booking you and they're always finding someone cheaper what are you doing what is the perception that brides have of you when they look at your website when they look at your social media when they look at your price list what is the perception that brides get from you I just saw some some thumbs up go there thanks guys is it, does that make sense? It's not your price that's stopping a bride from booking you. It's not your price. It's because you're not showing why your price is worth what it's worth. You're not showing why you are worth to a bride that 250 price tag when she's comparing you to the hundred dollar price tag she's looking at it and going well this is the same i don't see value in this i don't see why that's why we think people book on price that's why we think oh it always comes down to price it doesn't come down to price it comes down to positioning and it comes down to perceived value now there are people that will still look at that 250 dollar price tag and they think i still wouldn't pay 250 dollars. i don't care if she's you know if she's going to travel to me i'd rather pay the extra i don't know 25 dollars in travel and still only pay 125 dollars for my hair and makeup because they don't value hair and makeup the same way and that's why as well i talk about this um, a lot of the times when it comes to branding your business because if you can actually find your brand find your brand message and really um, attract the right kind of brides you know I've said before attracting the right kind of brides the um, the boho quirky uh, natural but you've got to find your your specific client then you're going to know what is important to that client and like I said there's still going to be brides out there who are going to say that's not important none of that stuff's important to me I don't really care about my hair and makeup I'm only going to pay a hundred dollars okay so that's to them it's not because your price was cheaper it's the fact that they didn't see value for themselves in it it's like me with the with the sneakers right the, the air jordans back in the 90s i went i'm not paying that for a pair of trainers i'm not paying that for a pair of runners you know whereas other people went take my money because they saw the value in 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 that right it's the value in it so i want you to think that when you're putting your prices together and when you're actually wanting to attract right to book more brides if you want to book more brides you need to think about perception and value and, and what you're providing to your clients. Now, anything that I said there, apart from perhaps the touch-up kit um, and the translucent powder and hairspray at the end, which was kind of just that little bonus, really. Other than that, none of the other stuff was of monetary value. I didn't say you're going to get this, you're going to get this. I didn't say that. I didn't say you're going to get, um, you know, um, you're going to get two artists for that price. 
because what would be the point in that? That does nothing for us as a hair and makeup artist. I didn't say, um, okay, well, um, you're also going to get, you know, uh, the, whatever you buy in makeup, whatever you uh, have on your face, I'm going to provide you in makeup because, again, there's no, there's no point, there's no value in that for us. Okay, we've got to think about our value too. But everything that I explained that compared the $100 price tag to the $250 price tag, it makes sense because it, it's given somebody a perceived value. And if they value what you do, they're going to pay your prices. But you need to make sure that you're kind of proving that that value, that price is worth what they are going to pay. So if you want to book more brides, Think about what you're putting out there. And if you want to learn more about booking more brides, join me on my masterclass, bridalbusinessschool.com forward slash book more brides. I'm going to do a masterclass next week. It's going to be sort of about one and a half hour masterclass. I'm doing one on Monday morning and on Wednesday evening um, so that you guys can join me. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, that might be Sunday night and Wednesday morning for you guys. Um, so come and join me on my masterclass tomorrow. There's another reason. There's a second reason why brides aren't booking you. And I'm, it's not your price. So sorry, I'm going to say the second reason why it's not your price as well. And I'm going to talk to you about that tomorrow. All right. I hope that we've enjoyed today. Thank you so much for being with me. Um, don't forget to share out the broadcast um, onto your groups and, and onto your uh, personal pages for me so that I can reach as many people as possible. And I shall catch you again same time tomorrow. Thank you so much for the hearts, guys. See you then.